a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before. Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cuisine! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, the best known cook among actors and actresses in Japan is actor Tatsuo Umemiya. Many agree, but he could turn himself into a pro any day. Using his 40 knives he has in his collection, he is capable of preparing Japanese, Western, and Chinese recipes. He also owns and operates various food business chains, now reaching 105 outlets throughout Japan. And now, Umemiya says he wants to step into my kitchen stadium to challenge the Iron Chefs. I just want to see how Good I am. Well, uh, I got nothing to lose. I feel that way in my own mind. Uh, but uh, it, is, it might be an upset. You never know. Modest, yet confident, isn't he? Once again, let me introduce today's challenger. The best chef in the film and TV business in Japan, Tatsuo Umemiya. Umemiya made his film debut at age 21, but 15 years later, the course of his life took a sudden turn. At the age of 36, he was diagnosed with lung cancer, but survived, which in those days was a miracle. This experience motivated him to spend more time with his family. He started preparing lunches for his daughter and suddenly became intrigued with cooking. It was my father who made my school lunch. I loved the lunchbox he prepared. It tasted so good, you know? Really. After playing a role of a chef in a television drama, cooking was no longer a hobby for Mimia. And not a day goes by without sharpening his knives in the morning. Umemiya's cooking now spans over vast borders of culinary fields, using an endless variety of ingredients, with over 10 years' worth of original recipes in his personal journal. Maybe the finished product doesn't look as good as that of a pro, but if you close your eyes and put it in your mouth to taste it, the taste is really not so bad at all, I'd say. Umemiya has stayed at his retreat home near the sea for two months to prepare for this battle. And the day before the battle, he has repeatedly timed himself against the one-hour time limit. Ah. First half, I'm going to push myself as much as possible to gain a little spare time in the second half, see? That's the key to winning the battle. And now, Umemiya, show us your self-trained skill, and let us see how you stand against the pros. I'm, like, not sure if he can win, but I'm sure my father can give you a good matchup. Good luck, Dad. I think it's 50-50. Hmm. Well, I mean, if I win, it'll be a thin margin, if, if I win.
A man with a challenging spirit coming in here today to compete, an actor who will be cooking, definitely providing a certain measure of drama. And with us for this occasion is actress Hisako Manda. Glad you could be here, Manda-san. My pleasure to be here. Have you ever had a chance to taste Umemiya's cooking before? No. This will be the first time uh, there. Yes, I, I look forward to it very much. A lot of people say he's like a pro, yes. so please enjoy yes. today. Yes. And our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hatori. Doc? Always a pleasure. All right, let's bring him on, Chairman Kaga. と噂されてきたあの男がついに今日その全貌を明らかにします。可愛い娘のためだけに腕を振るっているという彼の料理。娘だけに食べさせておくには美味しいではありませんか。さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください。噂の料理に
Well, I think he must be nervous because uh -huh. he's not used to this kind of, of experience. He right. looks so gallant, though, with that serious look on his face. Right. <laughs> yes, he does. Uh -huh. He's looking like the real deal, a professional chef, just like any other challenger. Oh. Look at this. Okay, yeah, he's got his recipe book. Right, his script for the kitchen today. Well, he's a professional, <laughs> sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> Tatsu Mimiya is into cooking. It is no exaggeration to say that. And look at the, the, the detail yeah, right there. Yeah, he's going through the pages for uh, the different recipes for the fish. I see shark's fin mm -hmm. and skate, skate right, uh -huh. yeah. and then homemade omelet. Oh, really? I missed yeah, that. Yeah, quite a variety. Unbelievable. Homemade. All oh. handwritten, and now it closes them up, puts them away, and uh, rolling up his sleeves, getting ready to go to work and attack that tray full of Aji he has in front of him. Meantime, Iron Chef on his side, he's got brush and paper, and you know what that means. Yeah, he's starting to write out his menu. Yes, sir. So the initial oh. order of business today for the Iron Chef right in his menu as opposed to prep work on the theme ingredient. Right, yeah. And now the challenger here, Umemiya slicing into the back side of that Aji. Right, he's starting to fillet it. And mm. how would you evaluate his skills right there? I have to say he's pretty good. Looks professional enough. Yes, from the floor, Shinichiro to go. I have something interesting here that happened long before the opening gong. Challenger Umemiya came to the stadium three hours prior to the battle and thoroughly checked everything, the ingredients, the seasoning, the stove, the sink. He inspected everything in this kitchen. Good move. <laughs> <laughs> have a pre-battle walkthrough so that there are no surprises during the cooking. Well, it's a good way to do it. Yes. Oh, he's putting on the specs oh, right yes. there. <laughs> okay, getting serious now. Tatsuo Umemiya, this man, he has beaten cancer before, so this is no biggie for him to be competing in Kitchen Stadium. Mm -hmm. Meantime now, the Iron Chef continuing with writing of the menu there and let's see can you make out that character Do, doesn't that say who maybe <laughs> <I think it laughs> <does. laughs> <It's on. laughs> yes also before the battle iron chef michibu was kind of poking fun at the challenger saying hey since i'm taking on umemiya san how about just using different kinds of pickled vegetables for the dishes <laughs> okay uh, well, that's why umemiya was on the umemiya's menu. got his own brand of pickles on the supermarket <laughs> shelves <laughs> the man <laughs> definitely <laughs> making an impact in the food <laughs> business <laughs> with his own line of food <laughs> products <laughs> and several food related businesses <laughs> he owns and all that in addition to being recognized as a pretty good chef, too. And now Kusan. the Iron Chef, yes. Yeah, after hearing Iron Chef Michiba's comments about pickles, challenger Umiya mumbled, sounds like he's got time to mess around and tease me a little bit. If he's feeling that relaxed, that's not a good sign. Of course, he was grinning when he said it. <laughs> Michiba's got the time to mess around, huh? Well, uh, he's got the time to pay attention to that, I guess. <laughs> good point, yeah. All right, Iron Chef, some noodles going in there. Oh, maybe use them like an edible bowl or something. Okay, getting limp in a hurry right there. Yeah. Edible bowl. Yeah, possible. Sure. Okay. Okay, now here on the challenger side, these are um, potatoes, I imagine. Okay, yeah. some potatoes almost grated or sliced very thin, maybe some hashed browns on the way. So I'm, I'm thinking he'll use this to make a bowl. That'd, that'd be my guess. All right. Kusan. Yes. Yeah, I asked challenger Umemiya what kinds of dishes he'll be creating to try and beat the Iron Chef today, and he told me a little story. He said, I was in New Caledonia the other day, and I was impressed and inspired by their French food, so I'm going to do some things with a French twist. So, hey, French on its way. Back to you. All right. <laughs> Interesting. Singer, right. Mimiya, making French-style dishes with oh. Aji, inspired wow. by a visit to New Caledonia. Mm. Okay, well, let's check out the Iron Chef here if we can. Okay. Get a shot. He's wrapping up with you, but typical Michiba mo there. So probably for stewing. Okay. Oh, for I noticed stew. he had a stew item right. on the menu. Fifteen so. minutes gone in the battle, and you know when Michiba gets done with them, you can tell no ordinary roll. Mm. <laughs> yeah, True. It somehow looks much prettier almost when he looks, does it. Almost looks like a rosebud over there. <laughs> You're saying he's different from other chefs. Huh? He's the man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just a simple roll job using Yuba, and you can see how that separates him from the rest of the pack. <laughs> True. And now some Aji fillets on the cutting board. Iron Chef, ooh. Okay. Some hustle with muscle, double-barreled chopping action. I think it's to make meatballs out of the fish. Okay, Aji fish balls coming, and look, some of the pieces flying off the board. <laughs> look at that. Making minced meat of that. And now Aji fillets on the cutting board, the iron chef. Ooh, look at that, Michibo. Some hustle with muscle. Double barrel chopping action there. I think this is to make meatballs out of the fish. All right, Aji fish balls coming. And whoa, look at that. Some of the pieces flying <laughs> off the board. That. Making minced meat of that Aji. Now, look, the challenger is doing the same thing here. Yes, sir. Umemiya, too. Now, you can have this as sashimi, but I'm thinking he's doing this to make meatballs as well. All right. So that would mean dueling Aji fish balls coming our way in this battle? Yeah, exactly. All right. Now the Iron Chef side and into the blender. Aji and... Um, 
I'm thinking yam potatoes. Okay, slices of them in there. Yeah, okay, that means I'm right if it is. Yeah. Yam for the fish balls. Right, it makes a really nice texture. Oh, okay. Let's All right, see. now over to the processor. Okay, what do we got here? What right in there. Uh, oh, breadcrumbs. Okay, and some greens. Uh, parsley, I think. All right, for batter, you think? I would think so, yeah. Okay, now look at this on the Challenger side. Okay, now what's this in here? It's asparagus. Right, in asparagus. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right, okay. Croissant? Yes. Yeah, just a quick rundown of the ingredients in the Challenger's uh, blender. There are four so far asparagus, spinach, milk, and fresh cream. Uh -huh. All right. He's got that being blended, and this is something that would have almost an element of being French style, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it does. It sounds very similar to a creamy soup. Okay, so a soup, perhaps? Uh, That's, that would be my guess. That's what it sounds like. You'd assume yeah. that Umiya would be capable of doing Japanese cuisine dishes, but he's got it looks like a hankering for French cooking today. <laughs> well, he, he did mention he went somewhere. Where was it again? I think he said New Caledonia. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, well, no other way to put it. The man must love cooking. You'd have to. I mean, the the way he approaches it, always trying to further develop himself and improve. And now the Iron Chef getting that Aji and yam paste out of the blender. The assistant doing the down and dirty hands-on task, yes. Yeah, the Iron Chef's assistants are now emptying their blender. They tried to blend the yam potatoes in theirs, but apparently that was too thick and heavy for the machine to handle. So they're going to do it again using a mortar and strong elbows. Oh, oh that okay. is wild. Well, they should have used the bigger food processor, You know, I thought I it was strange seeing them go with the blender. Umemiya now. Um, is this Cured just regular, vegetables, regular pickles, I think. Ah, yeah. pickles. That's what mm. it looks like. Kuzan? Okay, yes. Yeah, Hattori-san is exactly right. These are chopped pickles. His trademark, back to you. All right, okay. thanks. Okay. And some parsley added in. Right, parsley's in there. Okay, so I got one right, but I'm... Don't think I'm looking too good for the meatballs here. Yeah, sorry, I think this is going to be a sashimi after all. This, this Aji pickle mulch? Like right. a steak tartare, maybe? Exactly, right. Yeah. So maybe an appetizer here with raw Aji? Yeah, it would be definitely something for, for a start. Yeah, all right. So too. And both chefs are showing signs now of the energy that they've extended so far in this one. Right, yeah. Umemiya mm. really breaking a sweat. Said earlier he was going to try and push himself to the max in the first half and have some time to spare in the second half, but... Um, okay, I'll check out the Iron Chef here. Okay, that's the paste in bamboo? Yeah, you see, these are for shaping the fish meatballs to cook in a stew. Oh, I see. All right, so this is the paste after getting a good pounding in the mortar. Right, it's got the yams added to it. Uh -huh. Okay, now swinging back to the Challenger side. That's olive oil, is it not? Uh, well, I think some wine right there. Mm. Okay, well, I thought I saw olive oil, too. A Maybe that's for a salad, yes. Yeah, the bowl that they're working with uh, here contains tomatoes, onions, anchovies, parsley, and garlic. And those ingredients are being smothered in fish soy sauce, salad oil, and white wine. Oh, it's fish soy, okay. So kind of soy sauce mixed with a mm. fish essence. Well, that, that's yeah. kind of unusual, isn't it? Yeah, it's a uh, soy sauce made from soybeans and fish, basically. All right. But every Asian country has its own version of that. Well, what's the idea of, of adding it to this one? Well, it, it really adds to the body of the stew, and I think you'll probably get hooked on it if you try. We'll see about that. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, one of the challenges assistants has just started stir-frying some items. Let me tell you what those are. Carrots, onions, celery, rosemary, and garlic. And nothing's for certain yet, but uh, this looks like it might be for a soup, perhaps. Uh -huh. maybe? Soup. Okay. Yes, All right. Makes uh -huh. sense. Sure. Meantime, on the other side, the Iron Chef, he's already gotten the processor treatment in there with that, a gourd, I believe. Yeah, and he added something, was it not? Olive oil? Is that it, olive oil? Uh, that mm -hmm. over on the side there, was it not? All right, and there he goes. Wow. Okay. Oh, that, that's a lot. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Western style dish, maybe. Iron Chef, not sticking to the book, no, has his own ideas of Japanese cuisine. He's all about expanding our perceptions of it. Always maintaining there should not be any borders limiting the use of ingredients. Croissant. Yes. Yeah, in the food processor, the Iron Chef has blended breadcrumbs, parsley, celery, the olive oil that you were talking about, and a seasoning called allspice. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay, so with the breadcrumbs, got a surmise it'll be used as a, some kind of batter then. It would make sense. It may have something to do with one of the things in the bamboo boat. Yes. I'm not too sure, but oh, it wait, doesn't look like he's doing it now. No. Uh -uh. And going on top of the fillets right there. Oh, so just cooking it together, I Check guess. Check that out. Yeah, wow. And then into the oven? Yeah, uh, it wouldn't be steamed. Mm, no, I agree. And it's just applied on top there. Yeah, and he'll just wrap the whole thing in cabbage in this. Whoa, look. Uh, okay, so not grilling. So not <laughs> grilling and not steaming. You're running out of options here. I am uh, I'm a little on the confused side now. Sorry. <laughs> mm, so the ingredients in the bamboo container are in the cabbage? Mm -hmm. No. Or something no. separate? The one in bamboo. Bamboo will be for frying. <laughs> oh, so that's for frying. <laughs> now you guys have me confused, okay? <laughs> but it's, there is yubo over there. Yuba Definitely yubo, yes. Yeah, there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay, and with okay. the lettuce leaf. Mm -hmm. So that's for the wrapping. Uh -huh. And around that is the aji filet with the breadcrumb mix right. all rolled together. What a 
piece of work that one is. <laughs> Not real sure. Where, oh, oh, hang on. Okay. This will be baked. <laughs> Better be. That's strike three. Okay, it'll be baked. <laughs> it's definitely going to be baked. What's the clock say right We're now? just about halfway through. Oh, really? Wow. All right, now, umemiya here. No, I like this dish. This is really nice. The cutoffs are used to make a soup stock. Oh. And that one should be very rich in flavor. Right, and the rosemary that he's using will take care of the fishy smell. And he might need something else to add mm -hmm. to that because, uh, as you know, horse mackerel or aji has a very, very strong fishy smell. All right. Is this on? Yes. And you have a stick for the mortar. Yes, I do. But can I borrow it? Okay. All right. 30, right. 30 minutes gone. You're not using it. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Maybe uh, over and back. Just going over to borrow a stick. He's got, now he's got a solid grip on it, too, that wooden piece, pounding away on what will eventually be a stock. And now this is on the Iron Chef's side, oh. zooming in close. That looks good, doesn't Turnips it? and the Yuba rolls. Mm, and ginger, Japanese ginger. All right. Myoga. Uh -huh, right, right, yeah. And some long onions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's in but no aji yet. Nothing yet, no. All right. And, and Japanese-style croutons, we can say. There, shaped yeah. like uh, maple leaves, but again, no Aji in there. No, hmm. we haven't seen any go in yet. No, not there. Hey, show them where it is. Is this it? What are they doing? What's going on? Hey, oh, Mimi uh, Michiba, what is... Uh, yes. Yeah, challenge you, Mimi couldn't find a sieve, so we asked Iron Chef Michiba where to find one. Oh, okay. Well, you know, assistants would know where that's at. Maybe he's trying to get into the Iron Chef's head in this battle. Yeah, it could be. And he, he'll probably put the whole thing through a sieve. This is called passé in, All right. in French. Oh, yeah. passé. And nothing passé about the way <laughs> Mimi is going French on us today. You know, I could just do my whole part here in French. Would that be all right with you guys? <laughs> okay, and now he's adding something here. Mm, uh, tomato puree? Oh, yeah, you're right. Now, I thought he would be using saffron, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, and that'll disperse in that one. Yeah, oh, wait. Oh, he's putting it in here. Mm, okay. Yeah. Well, he did. Oh, All right. Way to go. <laughs> All right. Saffron added by the challenger, okay, and now you? Iron Chef's side packing wait, wait, wait. noodles. Thanks. Yeah, he's got those Bell in there. Bell pepper halves and acting as bowls and filling them up with noodles, and you mm. know there will be more to this one, right? Right, right. Before yeah. they're done with it on the Iron Chef's side, and now on the other side, Umemiya, they are working with the sieve. Right, and that's the, as we mentioned before, the passé. Right, he's getting all there. the stock cleaned up there, just mm -hmm. a pure liquid, and then this broth will be used. What's the call there, Doc? Well, uh, basically, it's simple. It's a soup. It's a, a very basic soup. Mm. Just a simple soup. So yeah. like a potage, you think? Well, yeah, more okay. or less, I mm. guess. Sure. Now, they're, he's looking around for something. Uh, just going to be a plain soup, though. Nothing else added to it. Well, actually, in small restaurants, little mom and pop shops in, in places in southern France, uh, they serve these kind of dishes. Mm -hmm. it's actually, it's very, very good. So he's even going regional in his French <laughs> approach <laughs> then Sounds today. Sounds really nice. Guess that would be another dish inspired by his travels to France. Challenger Tatsu Umemiya not looking like he's got time to spare in the second <laughs> half of this battle. And now in the oven, the Iron Chef's elaborate Aji lettuce roll wrap. Yeah, he's baking away in there now. Okay, and now here are the bell peppers filled with noodles and now topped by a tartar-like Aji mulch there. Oh, okay, I see. Yes. Yeah, I just wanted to confirm the uh, topping ingredients being stuffed into the bell peppers. It's a mixture of chopped horse mackerel, cured plum paste, chopped tomatoes and onions, and a splash of salad oil. Mm. Oh, okay, plums, or ume in Japanese. Iron in Chef, ume mia. a little play on words, <laughs> given the name of his opponent today. Yeah, so... Now pulling back, and there is his menu, though it's upside down. Yeah, Check so I think out. what he was doing with the eating plums meant that he'll defeat the challenger. Could be a way of saying, ume, ume mia, I'm going to have you for lunch today. Basically, yeah, he's, he's been rather playful today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I was watching the challenger as he was taste-testing his strained soup, the one that was strained from the ingredients, and as he did so, he grimaced, evidently is too salty, He's going to have to tweak that one a little. He says that's exactly what he's going to do now. Start working on that. Back to you. Uh, okay. Okay, and so that was the soup right there. Right, yeah, just a little bit too okay. much salt, I guess. Going to have to get that sorted out and fixed, and you saw he was really working up a sweat. Now the Iron Chef stuffed bell peppers into the fridge. Well, okay, he's added caviar on top there, right, too. Right, caviar wow. on top. They're getting cool. Less than 15 minutes left now, and Umemi is scrambling around, and now... You played golf yesterday. That's right. Yeah, no pressure at all, eh? No, no. Yeah, I was nervous yesterday. <laughs> oh, you're doing fine. <laughs> Mind games going on. Umi Mia trying to get inside the Iron Chef's head. 
Less than 15 minutes left, and Umemi is scrambling around and now over again. You were playing golf yesterday? That's right. You no pressure at all, eh? No, no. I was so nervous yesterday. You're doing fine. Some mind games going on. Umemi trying to get inside Michiba's head, but I thought the Iron Chef held his own right there, so that psychological ploy doesn't look like it's going anywhere. <laughs> he also talked about Michiba's plum dish as well. Mm, yes, he did. Oh, he gave him a dig about that, too. Yeah, huh? a couple of shots over All it. All right. Sure. Anyway, there's a lot of talk back today between the challenger and Iron Chef. Of course, actor Umemiya with the celebrity cachet, not above playing off if he thinks it could work to his advantage in this mm -hmm. competitive endeavor. Sure. Yeah, it could be, uh, you know, he's feeling relaxed now. Why not? He'd love a win. And now, getting into it. And uh, the soup, oh, right? right, this is the okay, soup. Okay, prawns, I think, and sautéed aji as well. Oh, boy. I think mm. I saw some oysters going in there, too, didn't mm. I? Not a plain old soup anymore, <laughs> loaded with fish and other seafood. Yeah. Look at that up close. Meantime, now the Iron Chef side okay. frying them up. Okay, that's the meat around the bones. Uh -huh. Okay. It'll become, I guess, a calcium biscuit. Some would be the crunch best with <laughs> punch, <laughs> you might say. You know, and if you take your time on these, they actually taste oh, very okay, good. Okay, now, umemiya here. Using Ten a circle mode. Know. Lifting a page from Iron Chef Sakai. <laughs> the Iron Chef French, he's quite fond of using these. Okay, so what's he got here? Oh, this is the tartare steak, right? All right, now taking that back over to a plate okay. and Let's slamming it down. Go. Whoa, look at that. Right in oh, the center, nice. slammed down with authority. And mm. Umemiya with the tartare of Aji. And without a doubt, his performance today is certainly enhancing his reputation for being able to handle himself in the kitchen, showing he belongs in the pro ranks, I think. Very much so, yeah. It's not just the visual aspect, either. His dishes are going to taste quite well, by the way. Okay, now back with the Iron Chef and patting some sauce on these, patting them down and plating them. Yeah, doing them one by one, too. And these are the pieces he deep-fried? You're right, yeah, sure. Okay. Kusan? Yes. Yeah, as you saw, the Iron Chef is dabbing a sauce onto his fried items. Evidently, it's just a simple blend of ketchup and oyster sauce only. Simple enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Of course, when it's just those two, got to find the right balance. And you can bank on Michiba having done that. And now, more work on the Aji Tartar by Umemiya. Oh, that's uh, Menegi. Menegi, uh, yeah. okay. They're quite long, aren't they? And these are the sprouts of scallions, I'm correct on yeah, that? Yeah, you're, you're right, yeah, sure. Okay. And now on the other side, the Iron Chef side, this one of his assistants getting a couple of things out of the fridge. Bet one of them is the tray with the stuffed bell peppers. Yes, to the left there, mm -hmm. topped with caviar. Iron Chef's menu did have one stewed dish, too, as I recall. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hold on, what was that all about? I think he's getting a little frustrated with things not going. Primal therapy. <laughs> Alive and kicking. Man, when I first heard that, I thought he'd burned himself or something. <laughs> Definitely got our attention there. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. See, oh, I notice how he's putting it around there? Yes, oh, that's the sauce. Nice. Another touch lifted from the Iron Chef French. You know, he could uh, slap these on a menu and charge some good money for this. Okay. Squeeze up. Yes. You probably couldn't help noticing Umemiya san getting frustrated over here. The reason was he was using extra long chopsticks to decorate one of his dishes and got mad at himself for not being able to control the chopsticks in the way he wanted to. Well, I'll tell you, he had a couple of practice runs, but there's really no way to prepare for uh, what it's really like in here. Umemiya san, hang in there. <laughs> was that loud enough? Yeah, I think so, and I'm sure he appreciates it. All right, less than five minutes. Oh, oh look at that. Oh. Iron Chef Michiba has done it again. He is styling. Certainly going to be trying to garner some presentation points with this one. Whoa, the stuffed bell peppers now back on the other side. Got some prawns here. Boy, that looks tasty, too, with a bed of hash browns, aji, and prawns on top. The uh, the man is something. He else definitely in is. Mm, wonderful. A fantastic effort gosh, being put gosh. forth today. It's the only way to describe it, really. You know, I think I just might invite him to be a guest lecturer at the school. <laughs> <laughs> the actor, he is not playing the part. This man is doing it for real. And now back on the Iron Chef side. Oh, okay, this is uh, one of the other ones we're talking about, right? Now, could this one be called Japanese food? Well, it's his Japanese food. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now some sauce going down. Oh, okay, so it wasn't a soup. I told you that way back. It's sauce, right, okay. Okay, it's right. sauce. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> he has a soup too, though. Oh, he does. Okay, yes, yeah, still on the stove. This one, less than three. Three minutes left now. I'm getting too old to keep up with all this. <laughs> and now Umemiya running to the front for something there. Yeah. What was that? Did you pour the sauce? Yes. All right. Checking with his assistants again. 
He'd said before this he hoped to be able to get a lot of the work done in the first half, but he's had to scramble most of the way. And now there was a scan of the dishes on the Iron Chef side. Michiba definitely has things more under control than does Umemiya. But there is his nice looking Aji Tartar with the green sauce that's going down and around, and still more sauce on the hash browns and prawns. Okay, so this is the soup. <laughs> okay, very rich looking. Yeah, it's a soup de poisson. Can't wait to see how the panel reacts to this one as well as the other dishes by this actor turned chef. One minute to go. And now a minute to go, the final 60 seconds. Now, I think he did the right thing as a strategy. Strategy? What? Me aside. Yeah, well, he had to, to go up against Machiba and go in head-to-head -head with Japanese food. No contest. So I think it was trying the French cuisine okay. was a bold move. Okay. And it does give credibility to the creative abilities, taking this theme ingredient and everyday fish in common Japanese cooking, Aji, and coming up with a number of dishes tinged with elements of French cooking. The man can not only cook, but cook creatively, which is what you've got to do in order to have any hope of walking out of here with the win. Now less than 30 seconds left. The Iron Chef said earlier he's not going to hold back as a sign of respect to Umemiya. He was going to be bringing his A game in the battle against the actor, but the final script for this one has not go. been written. Ume Mia now taking off his glasses, reaching for a Five towel. Seconds. That must be a sign he's done. Three, All his dishes have two, come in, finished in time. One. The final seconds ticking down, and that's it. The cooking's done. The battle is over. Nice job in there. Thanks. Uh, from here, you looked pretty nervous throughout the hour. Am I right? Uh, yeah. Uh, doing several dishes at once, you know. It's, uh, uh -huh. it's kind of more efficient, but... Yeah. Uh, how do you say it? It confused me a little. Oh. Yeah, yeah, for example, I, I was planning to adjust the flavor of yes. uh, one pot, but uh -huh. the assistant had already done it, trying to help me. Oh. So I, I added seasoning without knowing that. See, that's what happened there. I, I see. What? Okay, but all in all, how do you feel the dishes turned out? Mm, oh, I think I did okay. Can we expect a win? Take another look. What's the verdict? Chances are slim. Chances are slim? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah. well, yeah. What do you think? Uh, I hope the beads of sweat on my face will impress the judges. Okay. What did you think of Umimiya-san's performance today? Well, you know, reading what professionals will do is not that difficult. Oh, really? Umemiya-san had some great inspirations. Uh-huh. I couldn't read his mind at all, and that was oh. actually, uh, you know, a yeah. bit intimidating. Intimidating? Really. It oh, was. I, oh, I see. Challenger Umemiya is offering three French-style dishes. First, horse mackerel tartare, the presentation demonstrating the level of his skills and resembling the Fuji TV logo. The wasabi mixed in with the asparagus sauce helps tie all the elements together. Second, horse mackerel soup. Worried it had been flavored too strongly, he managed to fine-tune its flavor just before the end of the battle. The garlic in the soup will fire up the taster's appetites. Last, sautéed horse mackerel, province style. The tomato sauce with infusions of oyster and prawn flavors is accentuated by fish soy. And the savory potato galette helps tasters see another angle to this everyday fish. Iron Chef Michiba counters with four dishes. First, horse mackerel salad on noodles. Some wordplay using ume plums in this dish, but the flavor is well calculated. The caviar adds just the right touch of saltiness to the chopped aji sashimi. Second, horse mackerel and herbs croquette. Michiba wrapped foie gras and mushrooms in lettuce and rolled it all in aji. The sauce using white miso matches well with the crispy batter. Third, fried horse mackerel. The offering is to be enjoyed wrapped in greens. The contrast in textures between the crispy bones and the lettuce leaf is what he wanted to highlight in this dish. And last, horse mackerel meatball stew, a healthy stew pot with turnips, yuba bean curd, and fish balls made from a blend of horse mackerel flesh and yam potatoes. The young version of the man, an actor who made his film debut at age 21. He's come a long way since in life defeating cancer and in the kitchen turning himself into an accomplished chef and now challenging today in Kitchen Stadium, Tatsuo Umemiya. He puts it all on the line, choosing to battle Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba. Chairman Kaga unveiling the theme, deciding on a common ingredient for a star actor, horse mackerel, Aji. And challenger Umemiya puts his heart and soul into a trio of French-style dishes. Everyday fish, but the Iron Chef produces an out-of-the-ordinary set of four. 
And now, the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the horse mackerel battle are former lower house member Shinichiro Kurimoto, actress Hisako Manda, and Rosan Jean scholar Masaaki Hirano. First, the dishes of challenger Umemiya. Uh, well, this is just such a soothing dish, and the presentation is just so nice here. And I feel like I'm eating under a full moon in the desert. Yes, really. I never thought of this fish as soothing. You know, mackerel has a, a kind of unique smell to it. But here it's totally masked, and uh, it's truly delicious. I even see a touch of fantasy in the presentation. This is well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, there seems to be too many elements in this. In my view, the mackerel really doesn't come out as a main player, and I think that's just because this dish is, well, too hot. Perhaps you were a bit disappointed with the flavor. Right, sir. Uh, I used too many potatoes in this. Uh, it became too starchy, and I tried to salvage the dish by adding different flavors, so it was not exactly what I planned, which I regret very much. You mean that it's... You made this dish? I mean, this is ad-lib? Yes, right. Wow. The potatoes are so savory, and I think that's clearly because of the adequate amount of sauce in this. You know, the texture is just right. It's a great balance here. You got the... You got the scallops and the prawns. They're lightly cooked, and of course there's the mackerel. You know, it's a great harmony that's uh, it's hard to describe. It's delicious. When I was uh, invited to be at Umemiya-san's battle, I thought it was going to be Japanese food, which is why I'm wearing a kimono. This is absolutely wonderful. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Michiba. Wow. I've never eaten caviar and mackerel as a combination together. This is nice. The cured plums in this really seem to work as a, a subtle background in this. You know, this dish has depth. It's very sophisticated. It's savory and smells so nice. And it's so good. This is neither Japanese nor Western cuisine. It's Michiba-style cuisine. I'm very impressed with this. Wrapping it in lettuce seems key to this dish. Now, the fried bones in this are really nice and quite crispy. And as for the filet, it's also quite tender. This is wild, bold, tasty. It's very nice. Now the Iron Chef getting ready to serve his last one, the stew. Just looking at it makes me happy. <laughs> it's good. This is a perfect dish for eating in the fall. And the meatballs... Why are they so mild? I could eat a hundred of them. Everything was a success today. Horse mackerel battle. Which of the two will be riding out of here with the win? ゆうめみやパツオ。今日ここにいたのはその人ではなく素晴らしい作品を作り上げた一人の料理人でした。愛する家族のために磨き上げたその技は鉄人道場を倒すに十分なレベルであったと思います。正直驚きました。そして感動
Today, with knife in hand, an actor competing on the country's greatest cooking stage. Challenger Umemiya, unbelievable performance in an unscripted role, one that couldn't have been written, threatening Iron Chef Michiba, who promised not to hold back. Was his best good enough? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Tetsujin Michiba, Roksaburo! It's the Iron Chef Michiba And a sigh of relief for him. But Umemiya, what a show he put on today and a whale of a fight. And both men now exchanging post-verdict pleasantries. Everyone in here today and all the viewers have to be amazed at how far Umemiya has come in what basically started as almost a hobby. The Iron Chef wins it, but it was a competitive affair. And Umemiya, in doing that, he can exit this stage with his head held high. Yeah.